My channel and today's video is going to be another military monday and as you guys can see this is a different setup than usual it's because i'm at my mom's house i'm home in atlanta so yeah i'm on leave too so that's why i'm in civilian clothes because usually i do my military mondays all like suited and booted but yeah so today i'm at home and in today's video we're going to be talking about basically the process of like ranking up from e4 to e5 a specialist to sergeant and how that's probably the most challenging time in your career to separate yourself from your peers i actually had somebody write me in my dms asking like some tips and like how i did it so that's what we're going to talk about today. Before we get started in today's video, we're going to give a huge thank you and shout out to our sponsors of today's video, which is GlassesUSA.com. And let me tell you something, they came in clutch. I just ran out of my contacts and they asked me, did I want to do a glasses video? I said, I sure do, because guess what? Your girl's blind and I cannot see. So if you never heard of GlassesUSA.com, you need to look them up, okay? Because they cut off the middleman, they have over 10,000, like styles of glasses you can get ray bands you can get muse you can get emilias you can get prada you can get all those type of glasses from them you can cut out the middleman and just go straight to them all you need to have is your prescription and boom you're good at it. you got it to go um i guess belair wants to be part of the show but yeah so more i'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use these i'm gonna screenshot it and i'm gonna add it into this video but basically you can do you can try on your glasses like i had to struggle because there's a lot a lot of options on there like i don't know i'll be getting stressed out so they have a quiz on there that can actually like basically what type of style glasses like big or small and also you can upload a picture of your face and then you can scroll and like try on each glasses and i had to do that because i have like a kind of small head but for whatever reason i love big glasses so i had to see what it looked like on there and also what's extra cool about the glasses they have the um, blue light blocking so like if you're on the computer or you're outside and you need to be protected from the UV rays glasses USA got you okay so I'm gonna show you the three styles that I got today so the one I'm wearing right now isn't it super cute it's giving me very much bougie librarian right super cute I love these and they all come in their own case these are the Emilia's Amelia I'm sorry these are Emil uh, um, I can't say the word Amelia there we go and they come with you know every cleaner inside of them or like little glass cleaner and they also, and everyone comes with your prescription card, which mine, I'm really, really blind, guys. So it's a negative 325 in both of my eyes. Don't talk about me. I'm blind. See, that's what I'm saying. They came in clutch with the glasses. So but also, if you didn't want to get glasses, you also can get contacts and they have risk-free shopping. So you have 14 days guarantee or you get your money back. And I know you guys won't be uh, disappointed because look, y'all, these are so cute. So I'm going to try on my other pair that I got. Also, all the links um, will be in my description below. So if you want to get the glasses or go to the website, I'll have it in the description box, also in the comments. So yeah, these are the first pair that I got. These ones are, like I said, giving bougie librarian. These are more of like a tortoise, a tortoise color, like black and kind of brown. And they got this little like thing where it comes out right here. So they're super cute, right? Giving very much a boozy auntie. Okay, then I got these. And I wear these ones in uniform because they match my OCPs. So these ones are cute too, right? And then I got one more pair. I'm going to add a, a video right here. I forgot them at home, unfortunately. But they're a green pair. Kind of similar to this. A little bit smaller. And I also wear those in uniform because they're like they're like a clear green. So they match my uniform. I give the aesthetic, you know, I'm cute in uniform, period. But yeah, so these are how they look. Today I'm going to wear these because they match my outfits. But yeah, so if you guys are interested in getting you guys some, make sure you cl click the links in my bio and in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next part of this video all right so let's get into the video so yeah like i said i had somebody reach out to me and ask me pretty much like tips on how like to transition from you know lower enlisted or junior enlisted to a, a sergeant and like i said it's probably the most challenging time in your military career is learning how to separate yourself and the biggest thing that i want to like hit on is like taking your your rank in your military career seriously like the people that you surround yourself with if they're not supporting you and supporting that you're growing and learning in the ranks then you shouldn't probably shouldn't hang out with them and that really was like the biggest thing it was like you didn't want to come off like you're being like you're switching up and you're changing and you're being like oh they they, they got promoted they want it i got promoted and it's time for me to act accordingly and if you cannot see that as a friend of mine or somebody that i was cool with or you're not like trying to help me better be an NCO, then we don't need to be friends and it's time to separate ourselves. So really, really what it comes down to is looking at the people that you're surrounding yourself with. I'm not saying that you can't, when you get promoted, you won't still be cool with that soldier or that specialist or PFC, but it's a different level of respect you guys have to have for each other. And at first it's really going to be hard because you're still going to hang out with them and you're still going to party with them and you're still going to want to drink with them. But then you'll realize that your career... 
matters more than just drinking and partying with the people you used to hang out with. Tell them to get promoted. Help them get promoted. Mentor them into getting promoted so that you guys can still continue to hang out. Because I guarantee you, if you or them, y'all go out together and you're a sergeant now and then y'all get drunk and something was to happen, you as the NCO are going to be looked up or like punished. Not necessarily punished worse, but like you look down upon, look down upon way more than they would. Like you're, you're NCO now. There's certain things you can and cannot do as a sergeant. So just surrounding yourself and letting your uh, now like uh, subordinates know that I've got promoted and now we gotta we gotta act accordingly. Um, what I did was I completely like separated myself from my peers because uh, at the time I realized that like I said they weren't my friends. Like when I told them to do something or when I was in charge, it kind of gave me attitude or they felt like they didn't have to do it or you know. And that made me realize like at the end of the day you're not for me because if you was for me, you listen to what I got to say like. Business is business and, and personal is personal. But when we're at work, it's personal. And when I'm asking you to do something or telling you to do something, like, it shouldn't be no backlash. You should be where I need you to be, where I need you to be there. At the time I'm supposed to be there, like, you get promoted. And let's say you get promoted and now you're a squad leader of your same squad with the people that you're in. If the people in that squad are not treating you with respect, stop trying to be their friend. Stop trying to be cool with them. Like, you got to dig deep within yourself and be like, you know what? I know for now I know for sure that you guys aren't really my friends because if you were you know you would you would have my back you would you would make me look good if anything you know and I think um just taking the time back and, and just <sighs> really digging deep and realizing like why did you get promoted why did you join the army like why did I do this did I do this so I could have homeboys and homegirls and drink and party with or did I do this for like the better my family for education for a better life for stability like and that's what's going to matter at the end because nothing they're not going to care if you get demoted. It's not going to hurt them if you get demoted. It's going to hurt yourself. It's going to hurt your pride. It's going to hurt what you was striving for and how hard you worked to get promoted. So, I mean, I just say don't don't fall into peer pressure. Or like, don't fall into that, that stereotype of like, oh, they get promoted and now they're acting like they're better than us. They, no, I got promoted and now it's time for me to be a sergeant. And now I have responsibilities and now I have a different, like, um, outlook on... My responsibilities and the NCOs above me and my platoon sergeant, my first sergeant, like I am a sergeant now. If you can't respect my rank, then there's no reason for us to be cool. And that's really the biggest thing that I can say about this. Like it's not going to be a long, drawn out topic. It's just more so like once you realize the people in your circle aren't really in your circle, they're really not going to respect you, then leave those people alone. And then going forward, um, I can say um, you can still be a cool NCO. Well, say hello to Tequila. <laughs> you can still be like a cool NCO. You still can be relatable NCO, and um, still be an NCO if that if that makes sense. Like a lot of people feel like they gotta be an a hole once they get promoted. Like you don't have to like give that rah rah like I'm a sergeant. Like ah, listen to me. No, people are gonna follow you. Like my leadership style. I'm a very calm, cool, and collected NCO. We can have fun. We can we can laugh and we can joke. But when it's time to work, it's time to work. And I feel like that's a great leadership style to have. Like I'm approachable. I'm relatable. I'm going to be there for you. I'm not going to talk behind your back. I'm not going to do none of that. Like, it's time to take professionalism to the next level. So, you can still kiki and laugh with your soldiers and still have a good time with them. But at the end of the day, they need to know when it's time to get serious, it's time to get serious. When it's time to stand up for your rest, it's time to stand up for rest. Because it's time for jokes and it's time for giggles. It's time to have fun. And it's time to be serious. You know? So, I guess learning your leadership style. I would say going into your new position, you need to... Um, Especially if you're like PCS in somewhere and it's your first time really being an NCO. First first thing you're gonna do when you get to the unit or get to the section or get to wherever you're going is observe. That's the first thing you can do. Observe how the NCOs treat their soldiers, observe how the soldiers are treating the NCOs, observe the respect, the discipline, um, observe like how that section moves and how it functions. And if you wanna implement change, you wanna be like more disciplined, you can do that. But first you should do is like observe how things work and then you know implement your changes but then do it in a manner that people can understand where you're coming from if you come in on some rah-rah on some i'm the i'm in charge or extra hard and i'm in charge you're not going to get the you're going to get more pushback you know so i feel like a lot of junior leaders that are coming up like they feel like they were taught by the ncos above them that you're supposed to come in and yell at everybody like that's not the case you can get way more um respect and way more like people to follow you if you come with people with respect because this it's just not given to you like it's a new army like it's a new level, a new generation of soldiers. They want to know why, and they, they don't like the attitude. Like, a lot of us were raised from people that had just came out the war and stuff like that. So it's like, you can't come up in the ranks and just feel like everybody's going to listen to you because you're a sergeant. They should respect you because of your rank. But what I'm saying is, if you don't respect them as well, they're going to give you pushback. So come to your new unit, come to your new station, whatever the case may be. 
with an open mind, ready to observe the way things already work. If you want to implement change, you can implement change, and your NCOs probably are going to back you because they probably see that this company or whatever the case lacks discipline, but it's all about your delivery and how you speak and how you want to implement those things. Like I said, coming in raw, raw, and angry, and yelling, and all that stuff is not going to get you the, the respect you think you, you, you're going to get. Um, if anything, they're not going to like you, they're not going to listen, they're going to be annoyed by you, they're not going to come by you. And if you're not building a team with your squad or platoon or company, then at, essentially you're failing. Because anything, when it get when times get rough and stuff wants to really hit the fan, if you don't got no team in garrison, you're definitely not going to have a team when you're deployed. You know, when, you're, when it's time to really be a team, when it's time to really protect each other. Y'all can't even protect each other in the same squad. Y'all talking about each other and it's just hostile and nobody wants to do that, you know? Yeah, so pretty much my biggest takeaway, like I said, is... Separating yourself from your peers because if they are not respecting you because you got promoted and stuff like that, like they're, they're just not accepting the fact that it's time to level up, just leave them alone and separate yourself and start start getting new NCO friends and hanging out with the NCOs and eventually you'll come around and realize like okay I see what I see what everybody was talking about like you need to separate yourself because it's not it's not gonna end well at all. It's co coming from somebody that got demoted, trust me, I know. Two. Um, Coming into your next duty station with that new rank or wherever you're going, like new squad, new platoon, with an open mind, being observant, and like then implementing change in a manner that people can will follow you and give people respect and they will respect you. Don't think just because you got sergeant that you're on a power, you're on a power trip and now I'm in charge and everybody else listening to me with this new age army, it doesn't work like that no more. Like it's not gonna happen. You're gonna get a lot of pushback. Like and that's just the truth. I'm not saying you gotta be soft. No, never that. Like I said, business is business. Um, and then play is play and it, it, sometimes we can keep keeping lab but it, when I snap my fingers and hey let's get it together it's time to snap lock, lock that up and let's go finish what we got to do and then come back and we can still enjoy our time um, so yeah you don't have to be a, a toxic or like hostile or like aggressive leader to get people to follow you or get people to listen people are going to listen and love you when you respect them and show them that you care um, if you guys want me to go more in depth into this video I can I feel like I pretty much covered it. it's not really much to go into um, other than that, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, comment down below the next topic, or DM me the next topic you want me to talk about. If you guys are interested in GlassesUSA.com, make sure you comment, I mean, make sure you um, click link to my bio, um, and in my description box, I keep saying bio, but in my description box, or in the, uh, the comment, uh, description box, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!